So for the past several weeks, I've been working out a pattern for these polyhedrons, and this one uh, has a radial pattern. I've colored the pennies with a Sharpie marker, pink for heads, blue for tails. So you can see, no matter where you turn this, has a radial symmetry, it's always the same. There's no top, there's no bottom, which is great. It's a beautiful standalone object. <laughs> but what I really wanted to also do is make a matrix out of these, which would share pennies, which means, you know, a heads for one would be tails for the other. Having a radial symmetry gets really complicated. Um, so instead, um, I worked out another pattern. So this one is not clearly not radial, but it is polar. So you have uh, a tail side, and a head side, and you have an equator, heads, tails, heads, tails. So there's total symmetry here, but because it's polarized, the symmetry lets me build a larger structure. And that simpler polarity allows the eye to catch the pattern more quickly, which is important for me because I want the audience, the viewer to see the pattern and see that there's like a deep regularity to the structure. Um, and that pattern becomes more clear even without the color, without the aid of the pink and green. You can see this has a head side and the opposite end is a tail side. So as you're moving around the shape, um, that pattern becomes more apparent. This is um, eight nodes, but it could be bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, this is just sort of the first start. See, see where this takes me.